today there is a crisis or clash between uh, president and uh, prime minister uh, that could be seen because uh, uh, president has uh, said uh, uh, he will not participate in the cabinet uh, unless uh, uh, the uh, uh, committees, parliamentary committees investigating the uh, situation prior to the incident uh, uh, have been uh, stopped uh, because his argument that some of the vital uh, secrets are being uh, uh, brought to the discussion. Therefore, uh, this investigation of the parliamentary committees uh, will uh, of uh, uh, no use uh, 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 and uh, it must be uh, stopped uh, uh, and uh, allow other committees to function. And uh, uh, in the meantime, uh, committee he has formulated and uh, uh, to, uh, to uh, uh, examine what has happened in the past. The presidential committee also has given their uh, uh, findings and uh, uh, still uh, it has not been uh, publicized. And But uh, in the parliament and in the, uh, in the cabinet, uh, people are not uh, uh, prepared to uh, stop the investigation of parliamentary committees. Parliamentary committees uh, uh, are uh, independent of uh, president. According to 19th Amendment, uh, president has no powers to stop uh, parliamentary committees. Uh, and uh, uh, they, they are uh, really the responsibility of the parliament. Uh, and in the parliament, the majority uh, want these committees to function and give the uh, 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 real findings to the people and explain to the people what exactly happened uh, in that past uh, incident that uh, uh, brought such a disaster to the country. And it is the responsibility of the cabinet and the parliament to uh, expose what has happened. So therefore this conflict is there. And But uh, not participation of uh, uh, president is uh, uh, nothing because all, uh, all, uh, all powers are in the parliament and uh, the executive powers therefore goes to the cabinet and the prime minister. So therefore, uh, uh, prime, uh, as prime minister say, uh, uh, cabinet can function. Cabinet can uh, 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 be, be called uh, in spite of uh, absence of uh, prime minister, uh, president. So therefore, uh, the, the functioning of the cabinet will not cease. And uh, he, uh, he has said that he will uh, try to convince the president to participate uh, because uh, his uh, misunderstanding given to him by his lawyers that he can stop the uh, functioning of the cabinet by not participating. So once it is uh, established that it is not so and the cabinet can go on without him, he will uh, possibly uh, participate in the uh, cabinet. So this is the uh, and then the uh, with the power of the cabinet and uh, power of the uh, prime minister, everything can be resolved. There is no necessity of uh, participation of uh, president in uh, uh, regularizing any uh, pro problem in the ministry because. Uh, he has no executive power. He, has, he is uh, 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 actually a nominal leader in the country. He, uh, even uh, with the, the 19th Amendment, no need to go to the 20th Amendment. He, with the 19th Amendment, he has been uh, 
uh, made uh, uh, president, uh, nominal president in the country. So therefore everything can function and it will go on and uh, uh, the publicity given for the real, real functioning of the situation is uh, often uh, uh, done uh, in a bad way and uh, there are so many currents of uh, media people who are trying to uh, uh, depict and to show to the masses that there is a big crisis and the functioning of the uh, state uh, will cease and it uh, has to, uh, there should be some uh, changes in the government. Uh, that is not necessary. The presidential elections are coming and uh, they are the president will be anyway uh, defeated uh, so that uh, even this confusion created by the president will cease after the presidential election.